Hello to all the girlies out there. Today, I'm gonna talk about my personal five-year journey of how I went from this acne-infested skin to having clear, translucent skin. Achieving this Korean glass skin look involves a dedicated skincare routine and a semi-healthy lifestyle. If you're curious to learn all the lessons and tips I've learned along the way to achieve this skin, keep watching so you can implement these hacks to get your glass skin. To give you a little history about my skin, in high school, my skin wasn't perfect, but it was okay. The occasional pimple would make an appearance, but it was nothing that couldn't be managed. Then came the transition to college. I was thrust into a world of late night study sessions, sugary muffins at 9 p.m., and lattes at 10 p.m. to keep the sleep at bay. I got the freshman 10 with all the sugary foods and drinks I was consuming. The stress of college life began to take its toll, and the lack of sleep became a norm, with me often not sleeping until 12 to 1 a.m. during my freshman and sophomore years. As the days turned into weeks, I noticed a change. The mirror reflected a face that was no longer just dotted with occasional pimple. Acne had taken up residence and it was far from the welcome kind. My skin had taken a turn for the worse, a reflection of the unhealthy habits and stress that had become a part of college life. I realized that the journey to clear skin wasn't just about topical treatments, but also about a healthy lifestyle. At that time, I was doing my basic morning and night moisturizer and washing my face in the shower, yet I was still having so much acne. It it was a wake up call, a sign, it was time to make some lifestyle changes. And so I embarked on a journey to reclaim my skin and health one day at a time. The first noticeable difference I made to clear my skin was significantly reducing my sugar intake. That meant cutting out all the late night sugary pastries and sugary caffeinated drinks. In the morning, instead of eating a sugary meal, I tried to choose more of a savory protein filled option. I switched out eating pastries and pancakes for breakfast to eating a breakfast burrito or oatmeal. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I completely cut out pastries from my diet as I don't believe in completely cutting out a type of food, but I try to choose a healthier option to limit the sugar craze. For example, instead of getting a sugary donut, I would get a butter croissant because it contains less sugar to spike my sugar levels. Another small change I did was ordering 50 to 75% sugar levels for all my boba drinks. As an Asian, I love boba. So the thought of cutting boba out was not even an option. However, the small tweaks of just reducing the sugar levels in my drink helped a lot to cut down my sugar intake, yet still let me enjoy boba. The second noticeable action that made a difference was getting a good night's rest at the right hour. This was most apparent when I was assigned night shifts during my nursing clinical immersion. This meant I was awake when most people slept and asleep when most people were awake. My life was turned upside down, quite literally. The impact of this change was most evident in my skin. During the first few weeks of night shift, I noticed that my skin had lost its usual glow. It had become dull and lacked the suppleness it once had. I also noticed a decrease in elasticity. I was puzzled and worried. I had always tried to take good care of my skin, so what was going on? One day while reading a health magazine, I came across an article about the body's circadian rhythm. The article explained how the body follows a natural cycle in tune with the rise and fall of the sun. It highlighted how the liver, the body's detoxifying organ, works its magic during the night, cleaning the body of toxins, which is crucial for maintaining healthy skin. I had an epiphysical moment. I realized that my reverse sleep schedule was disrupting my body's natural circadian rhythm. My liver wasn't able to effectively detoxify my body, leading to a buildup of toxins, which was affecting my skin health. Of course, I was still in school and I didn't have the option to choose not to do night shifts, but from then on, I vowed to myself that I would never work as a night shift nurse after I graduated. As compelling as the night differential pay and the lack of management to hover were, I knew that for my long-term health and skin, it was detrimental. After I was done with night shifts, immersion, and switched back to normal times, I noticed a significant improvement in my skin. It regained its suppleness and elasticity. The donut was replaced by a healthy glow. So no matter how busy life gets, always make time for a good night's sleep. Your body and your skin will thank you for it. The third thing I did to clear my acne was sweat. While scrolling through a health and wellness blog, I read about the benefits of exercise for skin health. Intrigued, I decided to delve deeper into the subject. I learned that exercise increases blood flow, which helps nourish skin 
cells and keep them vital. It also opens up pores and allows sweat to carry out dirt and oil trapped inside, leading to clearer skin. There is a period in time when I was doing Zumba and dancing and I noticed after the session, my skin would be glowing. I realized that the sweat from exercising was helping to cleanse my skin from within, flushing out toxins and leaving my skin fresh and clear. Of course, getting yourself to exercise is another demon to conquer as I'm also guilty of sometimes being lazy, but that's a whole other topic to talk about. The fourth tip I want to talk about is hydration. Back then, I noticed I would drink water when I felt thirsty. I later learned that by the time you drink water when you feel thirsty, your body is already behind in fluid replacement. Water helps to flush out toxins from the body, maintain skin elasticity, and promote a healthy complexion. I started carrying a water bottle everywhere I went and would force myself to sip on some water every hour, if I could, until it became a habit. One thing that helped make drinking water more accessible was getting a sippy straw and leaving the lids off bottles so I could easily reach and chug water. The last and fifth advice I want to share is about environmental factors. Changing your pillowcase every two days can be a simple yet effective step towards reducing acne. Pillowcases can accumulate dirt, oil, and dead skin cells from our face, hair, and environment. When you lay your face on the same pillowcase night after night, you expose your skin to this buildup which can clog pores and lead to breakouts. By changing your pillowcase every two days, you ensure that your skin is always in contact with a clean surface. This reduces the chances of pore clogging impurities coming in contact with your skin, thereby helping to prevent acne. What I would do is flip my pillow each day so each night my skin is in contact with a cleaner side of a pillowcase. And then on the third day, I would change the pillowcase. As part of the environmental factor, another thing I noticed was that keeping your hair tucked away from your face can be a beneficial practice for maintaining clear skin. Hair, especially when it's oily or dirty, can transfer impurities to the skin when it comes in contact with the face. These impurities can mix with the skincare products on your face, potentially clogging pores and leading to acne. By tucking your hair behind your ears, you minimize its contact with your face, thereby reducing the risk of transferring any dirt or oil. Okay. Okay, moving on to the skincare part. In the world of skincare, trends come and go. One such trend that took the world by storm was the 10-step Korean skincare routine. This routine, known for its meticulousness and dedication, promised clear, supple, and translucent skin. It involved a series of steps, including double cleansing, toning, essence, emulsion, serum, sheet mask, eye cream, moisturizer, and sun protection. However, achieving clear and healthy skin doesn't necessarily require a 10-step routine or an array of products. The key lies in under understanding your skin's unique needs and addressing them effectively. A simplified routine focusing on cleansing, moisturizing, and protecting the skin from sun damage can also yield impressive results. Basically, let me walk you through my everyday skincare routine. I start my day by waking up and rinsing my face with clear water and a washcloth, avoiding soap to preserve my skin's natural oils. On my days off, I pamper my skin with a face sheet mask, followed by sunscreen to protect it from harmful UV rays. On work days, after rinsing my face with water, I assess my skin's condition. If my face feels dry, I'll dab a bit of lotion on the dry areas, primarily the cheeks while avoiding the T-zone, which is the areas on on the forehead, nose, and chin due to its oiliness. If time permits, I also apply sunscreen. As the day progresses, I go about my tasks. When it's time for a shower, I indulge in a double cleanse. I start with an oil-based cleanser to remove any oil-based impurities, followed by a water-based cleanser to clean off any remaining dirt and grime. After my shower, I treat my skin to a face sheet mask, allowing it to absorb the mass nourishing ingredients overnight. Remember, skincare is not a one-size-fit-all approach. What works for one person might not work for another. It's about finding what works best for you and your skin and sticking to it. Consistency is key in skincare. It might take some time to see results as this journey for me took years, so be patient. Achieving the Korean glass skin is a holistic process that goes beyond just a skincare routine. It's a lifestyle commitment that involves a balanced diet rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and hydration. Regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress Stress management also play crucial roles. The skincare regimen with its focus on hydration, nourishment, and consistent cleansing complements this lifestyle. Remember, it's a journey that requires patience and consistency. Always consult with a dermatologist or skincare professional for personalized advice. I hope you found these tips useful and if you guys have any 
questions about, I don't know, maybe the skincare products I use or anything that you're curious, leave them down in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.